Hey guys, back at it with the part two of the malware analysis room. And today we're going to be downloading two things. So get two tabs ready. First tab, let's type in VirtualBox right here. And then on the second tab, let's type in uh, Windows 10 ISO Microsoft. Right, and let's go back to VirtualBox. Let's click on the first link. You see this fat blue button? Click that. It says download VirtualBox 6.1. Click that. And then right here, I'm going to highlight it right there. Windows host right there. It's under virtual box 6.1.36 platform packages, Windows host. All right. Now click that. Let's install virtual box first and then we'll go to the Windows 10 ISO. All right. Click yes. Hopefully you guys can see that part on my screen. All right. Click next for this part. Uh, choose a location you guys want to put it in. I'm going to put it in my E drive. Let's name it. Do I have a name already? Uh, no, I do not. So let's create a new one. Does it let me create a new one? Yeah, right there. Okay, let's name it VirtualBox. Yeah, we're going to need uh, VirtualBox in order to host our virtual machine. Like I said in the last video, we need this to do malware analysis. So don't forget about that. So once I pick my location, let's click next. Click next. Click yes. Click install. All right, let's wait for that to load. This part I do not have to skip, but for the Windows 10 ISO Microsoft, I'm gonna have to cut the video. Oh, we're finished. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the video because because uh, it takes a long time, so I don't want you guys to wait for me. Unless you're willing to wait for me, that would be a good thing, but yeah, no one's willing to wait. All right, now let's go to the Windows 10. Let's click on the first link, download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. Click the first one. Okay, now we're on this page, right? Scroll down. You see where it says download now? Click that. And then on the bottom left, it says media creational tool.exe right here. So click that. Click yes. Hopefully you guys can see that part on my screen. I remember I was doing a, what you call it, I was self-recording and then show that part. So just click yes. So let's see. So over here, yeah, see uh, Oracle VirtualBox download it. See right here, this is what it looks like once you open it. And then now let me open up the media creational tool. So it's just getting things ready. Just let it load. Oh, shoot. Yeah, delete that. Let me get that out of there. Yeah, this part was, uh, we don't talk about what happened yeah, over here. Can I delete it? Yeah, remove that. So I'm going to minimize this part, getting a few things ready. Okay, scroll down. Nobody reads this stuff anyways. Just click accept. It wouldn't take too long to download it. But I'll just, I'll still cut it. Guys, with VirtualBox, you can do a lot of things. You can host like so many virtual machines. You can host Windows 10, Kali Linux. Hopefully you guys know that. But for those who don't, you can do a lot with this. You can play around with it. You can do ethical hacking, whatever you're into. Okay, for this part, click on the second uh, circle, create installation media, and then click next. And click next. And then click ISO file right here. Select that uh, circle. Click next. And then for this one, we need to pick a location. So let me go back. Uh, pick any location where you have space. Let me go Windows 10 download right here. Oh, I created that before. Yeah, I need that and save it there So getting a few things ready just wait a bit. So progress Let's see how fast it goes one Yeah, this is definitely gonna take a while too. All right for this part. I'm gonna cut the video here I'll get back to you when it's when it's like 90% right so we can all see it finished together. So see you later All right, guys, I'm back. It's at 93% right now. So it's about to be finished. It didn't take too long. It only took like five minutes just to get to this point, which is a good thing because nobody wants to sit around and wait that long. So let me just close out of this. Do I have anything else open? Okay, no. All right. Let me grab that back. Progress. This wouldn't take too long, hopefully.
All right. Now that now that it is finished, we're gonna get a prompt that says "Burn the ISO file to a DVD." We're gonna say no. Don't even do anything. Just click finish. There you go. This will take a few minutes. That did not take a few minutes. That took a few seconds. All right. Now go to the spot where you uh, downloaded uh, the or placed the ISO image. Right. Let's go to that place. So it was in my E drive. Let's go to my E drive right now. Where is it? Right here, there you go, Windows 10 ISO. That's what it should look like. So what you're gonna do is create another file. I'm gonna tell you why, because we're gonna need this later and call it Windows Storage. Just call it Windows Storage, right? Hopefully, yeah, I spelled that right. Okay, now open up the virtual box. Hopefully it's already open for you guys. And then click new, right? Right now, in the name, in the box, we're gonna type Windows, Windows 10 malware analysis lab that's a long name but uh, i have no other good names all right and then for this one machine folder we're gonna have to go to where i put you see this uh, windows storage folder we're gonna have to point it to that there's a reason why i created that so let's go there uh right here and go to other scroll down go to e and then go to the place where you have the iso image the iso image doesn't show you see that only the storage does. So click storage and then click select folder. So Microsoft Windows, Windows 10, click next. So for this part, the minimum we need is four gigabytes, right? But if you guys wanna go more, if your computer can handle it, go to eight gigabytes, right? Right here, that's eight gigabytes. So, but we're gonna do four because actually I think I should do eight because I don't wanna, you know, have anything bad going on. I want perfect quality for you guys. So click next. Click uh, create, click next, click next. For this part, we're gonna need at least 80. We're gonna have to have 80 because we're gonna be installing something called Flare VM and that takes a lot of space. So now click create. Okay, now we have created our first virtual machine. I'm gonna stop here. We don't need to do anything else, but I'm gonna show you what to do next video. We're gonna set up everything next video, okay? Hope you guys like it and then wait for part three. Part three, we're going to be doing a lot of work. So get ready, guys. All right. Take care and peace.